All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at organic XTLs. We've done that before. This one's a little different because we wanna have something that behaves in a regular and predictable fashion. Uh, that means I'd like to have T-spline lines that are regular around the circumference of this leg or maybe down the length. And that's common for these kind of things. And you won't get that if you use the automatic translation that I have shown in other videos. What I recommend you to do is go into the form environment and use the face command. And there is a command here that says uh, object snap. So it will actually snap as you're creating T-spline faces, individual T-spline faces. It will snap onto the mesh as a guide. Um, it's not perfect, but you can see as you move your mouse uh, over the uh, surface of the STL, those points will snap there. When you connect a ring going all the way around, it may disappear. But that's only because it's trying to approximate the STL and it may not get it perfectly. You may see bits of it, bits and pieces of it. But if you go in and um, increase the number of T-spline surfaces you have by doubling them up, let's say, this will give your T-spline the opportunity to fit itself a little bit better. In addition, and you will use this command many, many times, you will need to use the pull command, which will pull your T-spline vertices on to the mesh. This you do in addition to the snapping that you did before and you will do it continually. Don't make the mistake I did and forget to select through or use your window select pro improperly and I had to go through and select each individual uh, vertice here afterwards. But you can see if you do this, it fits pretty well. That first ring is the key because once you have it, you can use the edit form command and look at this, make sure you turn on object snap, make sure you turn on snapping to the world space or it will only snap in two dimensions and that looks really bad, doesn't work well. But if you do this and then just pull up using the alt key, each new row of T-spline faces will attempt to snap on to the mesh that you have laid beneath. Now you can see, if this is a fairly smooth surface, it's no big deal. The surfaces, as they become more complex, uh, need many more T-spline surfaces to do this, so you'll have to pull with Alt more often. Whenever you finish, do like I do here, select all those T-spline vertices and do another pull option to get everything back onto the mesh. And I prefer always to select my target, even though I really only have one target here, uh, it just makes me feel safe so that we're not snapping to different options. Now, the bottom is an area where you'll need a trick, and what I do is it's still the edit form command, and I scale using the point in the middle that scales in all three directions while pressing the Alt key, and that pulls all those T-splines in the ring, that last little ring down there, down to, the, to a point and collapses them together. Here again, as soon as I'm finished with one of these operations, I will run a pull command on all the T-spline vertices. I tend to do this quite a lot because if I don't, I may end up having things hanging off in space and I may construct my next items based on false geometry that I don't really want and that can cause me a lot of trouble downstream. Now, once you're done with all this, you get a kind of socket looking thing in my case um, I just use standard sort of T-spline functions. I go in and selected I, some T-spline faces and deleted them um, because this is how uh, many um, prosthetic leg sockets are made. They're made sort of similar to this. Don't don't get me wrong. This is a uh, this is a fake leg off a Barbie doll that I uh, modified in a very macabre sort of fashion. And I'm doing this the quick and dirty way. This is by no means. Uh, the work that a prosthetist would do, but um, it is sort of similar to what I've done in some of my projects like that in the past. Now, your needs may be different, and whatever project you're going to be doing, you're going to need to know how to use that form command, but what this will give you is a T-spline that has regular lines on it, in my case going around the circumference or top to bottom, and it will behave in ways that are predictable, allowing for easy modification and fitting to other mechanical elements. As always, good luck.